going to take a look at the battery. Whoa! 67% battery life, are you joking me? Hey guys, this is Vadim with MaxTech, and today we're going to be playing PUBG in Asphalt 9 on both the Pixel 3a XL, which comes in at $479, and it's packing the same processor and graphics as the regular Pixel 3a, and we're going to compare it to the Pixel 3, the higher end model that's $800, it's packing the Snapdragon 845, which is the same one that's in the Pixel 3 XL, and basically we're going to be seeing if you can still get good gaming performance on the cheap $479 Pixel 3a XL, instead of having to pay a lot more for the Pixel 3. Alright guys, here we are in the Pixel 3a XL, and first thing I want to show you, we're at 100% brightness, right here, and 100% battery life, so we're also going to be testing the battery life as well. I have no other apps open except for Asphalt 9, and so far everything's like a little bit glitchy, like it's like stuttering, and I can tell the graphics quality is so much worse, there's like a lot of... I don't know if it's aliasing going on. So I mean, the screen looks really good. This OLED screen is awesome, but the graphics quality is just so much lower than what I'm used to. So far, the experience is not too bad. It's definitely not perfect. It's a little stuttery, but I think the target market for this device, let's say it's parents of young teenagers that are wanting to get their kids a phone at a cheap price like this, 400 to $480, I think, this is actually not too bad. All right guys, here we are on the Pixel 3. As you guys can see, we're at 100% battery life and 100% brightness as well. We only have Asphalt 9 open, so let's get into it. So right away, you guys can see that the screen is a lot smaller on the Pixel 3, obviously, and you might be asking, why am I comparing the Pixel 3a XL to the smaller Pixel 3? Well, this shows you guys the difference in the screen size, and we're gonna see if it's more worth it to jump up to either the Pixel 3a XL or the Pixel 3 XL for a better gaming experience. So one thing I noticed instantly is that you can't block the speakers with your hand. As you guys can see, there is a bottom-facing speaker right here. It's facing you, it's not facing the bottom of the phone, so you can't block it with your own finger like this, like you can on the 3a XL. So that's actually really nice with the Pixel 3. And instantly, I'm no longer getting that stuttery feeling, the laggy feeling that I got with the Pixel 3a. And I've gotta say the graphics also look great. They look so much better. So I recommend you guys go back and look at the footage of the Pixel 3a XL that I took a little bit earlier and just compare. Compare what it looks like, compare the differences. All right guys, so here I am in PUBG on the 3a XL and I'm on HD graphics because HDR is not yet available on this device. So far, the graphics look not too bad, definitely better than Asphalt 9. All right, I just jumped down and I'm not seeing any dropped frames. It's actually performing very well so far. Woo! All right guys, so far what I've noticed playing PUBG is it's actually really smooth. The graphics don't look too bad at all. They look just fine to me, much better than Asphalt 9. Oh, a little bit of drop frames right there, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I've been playing for around 30 minutes and honestly, the phone doesn't really feel that hot at all. I think it's because of the really efficient Snapdragon 670 processor. It's not that powerful, so it's not gonna get that hot. The graphics are okay. They're not perfect. They're not as good as something like the iPhone XR for sure, but we'll have to test out the Pixel 3. Headshot. Another headshot. I'm also really impressed with this display. It looks really great and you're getting an awesome OLED screen. For this cheap price, honestly, it's such a good deal. Got him. Is that it? All right guys, so it's been an hour since I started playing on the Pixel 3a XL, that's after Asphalt 9, after PUBG, and our battery life is sitting at 84%, so that gives you guys a good idea of how much battery life you're gonna use while playing for about an hour at 100% brightness, which usually most people won't. So here we are on the Pixel 3, and this time we can choose HDR and ultra frame rate instead of just high, like we had on the 3a XL, so that's really nice. So far, everything's really smooth, no drop frames, nothing like that. Graphics look incredible so far. Woo! Boom! Oh, I didn't die. Got him. 
I also really love that the bottom speaker is facing you so you can't cover it any way you hold this phone. So that's really nice and I think it's really important for games like PUBG where you're trying to hear footsteps all around you. And one thing with the smaller display is that the UI is actually a little bit more cramped together so it's a little bit uncomfortable to use compared to the XL model. Boom! That wasn't a headshot? Are you kidding? Oh, there he is. Boom! Oh man, I love this sniper. So it's been about 30 minutes playing on the Pixel 3 and I actually feel the back of the phone heating up a little bit more than the Pixel 3 AXL did. Woo! Oh, you guys see that? Some dropped frames right there, so it's definitely not perfect. Woo! Got him! I'd say the only hard thing is that the display is a little bit too small, to be honest. So the graphics are much better on the Pixel 3. You can't doubt that at all. The frames per second is higher, feels super smooth. It's definitely better than the Pixel 3 AXL, but how much better? I'll tell you guys in just a minute during the conclusion. Whoop, got him. Boom! Got him as well. So, it's been an hour playing on the Pixel 3. Let's go ahead, cut this short. We're gonna take a look at the battle. Whoa! 67% battery life, are you joking me? Playing an hour at maximum brightness, which most people won't do. All right guys, so after playing one hour on each phone, here are my conclusions. First of all, the battery life difference is shocking. So after playing an hour on the Pixel 3a XL, we ended up with 86% battery life, which is amazing. But on the Pixel 3, we ended up with 67% battery life. That's 33% battery life used up in only an hour. Now I know you guys are gonna say that the Pixel 3a XL has a larger battery, and it does. It's actually 27% larger than this guy. So if we accounted for the battery size difference, then this phone should have only taken up 18% instead of 14%, but it took up 33%. So it seems like the more powerful processor and graphics is really soaking up that battery life. I actually checked the maximum brightness difference and both of them are actually really even and they're both at the same resolution as well. So it's really interesting that the Pixel 3 is using so much more battery life. I'm extremely impressed with the Pixel 3a XL. It didn't quite play at the best graphics settings or the best frame rate like the Pixel 3, but it was a smooth experience. And if you're paying only $479 or 400 for the Pixel 3a, it's hard to believe that you can play PUBG pretty well on this cheap phone. And guys, if you're gonna be playing games on one of these phones, I definitely recommend buying the XL version, whether it's a 3A XL or the 3XL, definitely buy the XL for gaming because that extra screen real estate is so much more useful. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this game in comparison. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that button above and make sure to check out those two other videos right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.